No. No, nothing at all. I mean, we never had any contact from Baffert. Um, and, you know, Wirecard very effectively demonized us and for whatever reason. And once Baffin started to investigate us, obviously it made it effectively impossible for us to talk to the regulator. Had they asked, mm -hmm. it would have been slightly hard mm -hmm. to do so. But yet, even before that, I mean, there was, there was no outreach. In fact, um, I mean, one of the strange things is the things which Baffin found suspicious. So the whistleblowers who contacted us before we published um, in January, they, um, a series of packages went to, um, to regulators in about six or seven different countries, went to Visa, to MasterCard, to Citigroup, uh, Wirecard's big business partners. Baffin got one as well. And one of the astounding things that I found in their complaint against me was that when this package of documents arrived, which, you know, was focused mainly on the Singapore investigation saying all sorts of bad stuff had been happening. Um, they dusted it for fingerprints. And we're like, oh, there's no fingerprints on this. And then when the story came out, they're like, ah, maybe this is part of an attempt to manipulate the share price as well. And so it, it just astounded me that this good faith attempt to tell the regulator ahead of time what was going on turned into more evidence that this was some corrupt scheme to bring down one of Germany's greatest companies. 